Hey, this is Morgan with Duven Tech. Today in this video, we're going to be looking at setting up this Amplify Instant System. This is a pretty new system by Ubiquity, and um, it is super easy to set up and can really have you quickly go in at your house and provide you a lot better coverage, especially if you get this uh, mesh pack that provides both the, the router itself and the, the mesh point to help spread out your signal. These two talk wirelessly to each other. You provide internet to one of them. It wirelessly communicates that to the second one. And the second one re-broadcasts that internet out. Again, but looks it looks the same. You can't really tell the difference when you're walking through the house. It might Your phone might be swapping between the two of them, but you really can't ever tell a difference. So um, the mesh systems are extremely nice. These cost about $180 for this pack, which is a little more than just your standard router even a high-end ones you could go buy at a at the store but you get a whole lot more optimizations uh, control and things like that out of these surprisingly um, and a lot more power out of this small of a unit so i've literally just unboxed it which i've had an unboxing video if you want to check for a link in the description i'll have a link to that i'll also have a link to this product on ubiquity's website um to an amplify link to this so you can buy it directly from them if you wanted to all i did is unbox it I, I took off the wire wraps and things like that and i'm ready to set it up so let's go ahead and do that now this yellow wire is my internet connection and uh, we'll just start by downloading the application so you can see i have the application running you can scan the qr code to get that or you can go to the app store whether you have an iphone or an android and you can search Ubiquity, scroll down a little bit, and look for Amplify Wi-Fi. And click on it and install the application. Then we go back over to it. We're going to set that out of the way. Then we're going to grab the Quick Start Guide, not the Mesh Point yet. The Mesh Point's the last thing we'll set up. We're going to grab the Quick Start Guide, and it says Launch the App. So we did that. You can hit Continue, and this is we're going to set up this Mesh System. And it's actually going to tell you all the same stuff that this quick start guide will here. But we'll go ahead and just step through it from this. So power off your modem, which in this case I don't have to. This is my connection, but you very well might have to power off your broadband modem. It is best to do that to, to avoid any issues. Then it says go ahead and connect that to the blue port of this device, which is your incoming internet port. And I'm going to grab the power adapter that I already have plugged in over there. It's just not powered up yet. So I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to flip the card over and it says then power up the device. So we're going to go ahead and now power up the device. Their systems always have this nice blue LED ring around them. Uh, it does turn on and off. It kind of act like a night light. And you can actually have it go off at night. You know if it's in your bedroom or something like that. Or if it's in a hallway or living room somewhere that doesn't matter as much or you wouldn't mind if it was lit up, you can have it stay on. So all that's configurable in the application. Let's go ahead and step through. It's going to tell you the same stuff. And we want it to um, go ahead and step through its process here. It took it a second while ago, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can speed that up this time. Get it to reinitialize. But this screen here will change and it'll actually show, um, you know, the different icons for the App Store and the Google Play Store. And it will tell you, you know, go over and look in um, in the application for the next step of the process. So it does take it some time. But this is, seriously, this is one of the longer um, processes of it. As far as actually setting it up, it's it's extremely simple and straightforward. So. <clears throat> all right and there it goes so now it says get the application all right we've already got that so i'm going to say done and there it sees setup as required for this amplified device we're going to go ahead and tap on that amplified device and it says name your wireless network so we're just going to name it test net so not too original um, we're going to make the password 
password and just see if it'll let us do that and it does um, you can leave this checked and that's how you would actually log into the router um, with this same password this is not a secure password you do not want to make this your password um, people don't understand that you know protecting your wireless internet um, is just as important as a lot of other security features that you can go through setting up two-step authentication stuff on emails this is the gateway into your home network if they can get onto this in a lot of cases they can see the other devices that are on it so that's something that you really uh, want to avoid it's just like someone coming into your house and plugging in to your connection if they can easily get into your router so make that a pretty strong secure password I'm gonna hit continue It's going to take it just a second. It's going to finish its setup process here. It says on the front here that there is an update available. So that's a nice thing about this system. It actually provides you a lot of information on, on this little display here on the front. So <clears throat> through, the, through your little LED screen on that, um, you can actually get a lot of insight about how your system's working and, uh, and be notified on, on what you can and is available to you okay so setup has been complete and say okay and here it shows that it can see the one router but it says your mesh point is not online so I'm gonna get the other adapter and I'm gonna plug it in over here and I'm going to plug it into the mesh port mesh point and I'm going to power up the mesh point now it does have an LED ring around it but it has no display on it so most of its information um, is going to be passed from from this you'll have to look at the screen on this if you want to know um, how this is operating and, and mainly your phone is where you're going to look at most of the configuration for both of these devices but we're going to give it just a little bit of time to power up while we're waiting on it I'll go ahead and show you this display it will rotate and go through things right now it's showing um, time and things like that so the time and the date it'll show you speeds and current usage um, it's a pretty neat little display of information in your application here you have lots of different things again he's still booting up here so we're gonna step through and go through some of the things your performance you can have it do a speed test so that you know what your speed is what your internet service provider is is giving you um, and it will show that here the current throughput here's where I was talking about here's the guest network you can say how many guests you expect and that's the maximum number of people it will let on the network so say if you're gonna do it and not have a password temporarily and uh, you know you can have settings and you can have it do it for a certain amount of time um, you can set uh, different passwords for that guest one and um, it has a lot of different configurations so when you hit start you can say how long you want that duration to be able to last which is really nice um, and I'd, I would suggest using that instead of saying always on because it's way less secure to have it always on again for, especially if you don't have a password on it um, here is where you get some of that control where you can see what devices are connected to it how much they're using um, can create profiles and schedules and uh, you know be able to shut off internet to devices at certain times and here's where it shows um, the different information for your device what you're being provided what's your IP address is your internet connection okay and uh, you can press that to retest that so we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna go ahead and have it look for this update it's got so we're gonna go ahead and say update all just to go ahead and show you how this update process works so now the device is already configured we're already using it we are connected to its internet connection it is providing this internet that we're using to update it so your device at that point when I was showing you the application was already working so now we're gonna update it and make sure that it reconnects to the mesh point okay and if that's if it does that okay then we have a fully functioning system I'll go ahead and step you through a couple of things as far as setting up the backbone communications between these two and kind of show you it tells you the signal strength and of course these are set side by side 
Um, the signal strength is going to be um, very strong. But if you had them farther apart, you might could try swapping the backbone to 2.4 gigahertz, which will reduce your uh, performance. But at the same time, it will increase your range by a pretty good amount and allow you to communicate and, and move these farther apart and still be able um, to provide internet and resend that internet out from this mesh point here. So you can see it has a little animation here and blinks as the device is updating. <clears throat> it does come with a short ethernet cable that you'll probably need to connect your um, internet service provider's modem to it. But other than that, the system is pretty straightforward. Um, again, and what we did with just powering up the mesh point is as simple as as it is as far as the instructions for that. It gives you a little rundown of the application, what those different tabs that I stepped through did as well. Um, the system is now rebooting, so it didn't wait just quite long enough. Let's go ahead and see if it's going to find it now. There it goes, searching for it. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the settings, and we're going to specify which one it is. It, it reconnected to a different network here, so come on, buddy. Oh, it's rebooting again. <laughs> Maybe it'll find it this time. Still not back up just yet. But I'll step you through real quick the um, different customizations that you can have of it. And try not to let this video drag on too long. But I feel like it's really important to step through some of that. Because uh, it has some really nice features that I'd like to showcase. So now that we've connected to it, can we go back? There it is, we'll click on it. It is now connected to the mesh point at full strength, of course. You can tap on the router. You can change the brightness of the LCD screen. You can change the brightness of the LED on the bottom. You can set up the night modes where it does turn on and off. You can set up several different port forwardings for things like Xbox or things like that might, might require some sort of port forwarding. Under general, this is where we configured a lot of this stuff already. It already picked my time zone. Um, you can factor reset, reboot, things like that if you're having issues. Wireless connection. This is, again, where we named the wireless. It has both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and it will automatically put devices on the optimal one for it. And if one tries to get out of range, it might swap to 2.4 to try and still communicate with that device. Internet connection shows you... Um, you know, several different options that you have, and, and some of them are more advanced. I'm not going to step into all that. We're going to click on the mesh point now. And it shows that the signal quality is great, but as you move it away, and I don't know if I can actually even get it far enough away to do anything right here where I'm sitting, but as you get it farther away, and I wasn't able to, it shows you here 5 gigahertz is for better performance, but you can click this drop down and for longer range you're able to just easily select 2.4 and it will allow it to reach out a little bit farther. So um, that's the nice thing about that. Again, here's Ethernet Backbone. If you wanted to link the two of them together with actually a cable, um, it does allow you to do that, which probably provides even more performance. So here is its LED control. You can change it, change its name so that you know which one it is. Um, locate it, which blinks it, and lets you know, again, which mesh point it is, especially if you had multiple mesh points. So, overall, a really, really nice system. I, I really like all the information that it gives you, how many devices are connected, upload and download. And, again, it goes so much more in depth than that on these other pages here and allows you to test the Internet connection. It shows you, you know, there's the throughput being stressed as I'm using that internet connection 
and uh, and will show you what your internet is capable of of doing. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and let that finish so that I show you. It does. It keeps a log of it here, and uh, will show you at what speeds it tested at. So really, really cool. Really nice to use. Guest features are really easy and simple. And again, this control uh, here for family members is really nice. So if you're interested in seeing more about this device, let me know. And I may do a more in-depth video again on, on setting up a profile or how to use the guest network or something like that. But again, link in the descriptions to this device if you're interested and the unboxing video to kind of see it compared to another router size-wise. So this is Morgan with Even Tech. We'll see you again in the next video.